Item number SCP-4953 Security Level 1 Containment Class Keter Disruption Class Eki Risk Class Caution Special Containment Procedures Foundation Agents Embedded in Restaurant Brands International Incorporated Note Parent Company of Burger King are to conduct marketing campaigns portraying SCP-4953 as a promotion for the company. These marketing campaigns are to portray SCP-4953 as reclusive and camera shy and suggest customers refrain from directly interacting with the entity. In the event of a manifestation, Foundation AIs are to alert nearby response teams and provide a live security feed for the duration of the event. Foundation web crawlers are to analyze posts regarding the anomaly and remove information about the entity's anomalous nature. Amnestics are to be administered to witnesses only in the event SCP-4953-1 manifests or SCP-4953 displays anomalous behavior beyond its manifestation. Should SCP-4953 manifest near Foundation personnel, an interview is to be conducted. See document 4953 interview for guidelines. Nearby civilians are to be amnesticized following the interview. Description SCP-4953 is a humanoid entity resembling a middle-aged human male. It wears a gold crown and clothing reminiscent of medieval royalty. SCP-4953 has been seen carrying medieval era weaponry such as swords and battle axes, but has never shown hostility towards a civilian unless provoked. SCP-4953 is capable of manifesting in any Burger King licensed restaurant. SCP-4953 will always appear to enter and exit through a doorway. It is impossible for viewers to directly observe the entity appearing. The entity can exist in only one location at a time and manifests, on average, once every two to three days. Manifestations typically last less than 20 minutes and have been occasionally observed to last up to several hours. During a manifestation, SCP-4953 will order food from the restaurant. Any order given by the entity to a Burger King employee will be carried out to the best of the employee's ability. Employees ignore customer orders until SCP-4953's requests are fulfilled. Interviewed employees universally believe that actions taken under SCP-4953's command were performed of their own volition and do not consider the entity's orders unusual. Items ordered rarely conform to standard menu items but always consist of ingredients available at the restaurant. SCP-4953-1 is a designation for any entity brought alongside or created by SCP-4953. SCP-4953 creates and repairs SCP-4953-1 instances using hamburger ingredients. These entities appear in a variety of animal and humanoid forms. Humanoid SCP-4953-1 instances are incapable of speech but appear to communicate with SCP-4953 using a rudimentary form of sign language. Addendum 4953-1 Portable Manifestation Log Location Riverbank, California Items ordered 17 hamburgers, 1 french fry, 1 medium soft drink, 3 napkins Summary of events SCP-4953 consumes the french fry and napkins and polishes its crown with the soft drink it then begins to construct a canine SCP-4953-1 instance using the hamburgers. The meat and bread are used for the body structure, while items such as tomatoes and onions were placed internally or used to decorate the surface. SCP-4953 finishes the instance by placing a mass of cheese on the head and sealing it closed. Once the entity is complete, it staggers to its feet taking a few moments to learn to bounce on its legs. Once it is able to properly walk, it begins to pace around the restaurant. The canine entity shows affection towards SCP-4953 and civilians, and allows a group of children to play with it. The canine saliva appears to be composed of mustard, which it leaves streaks of on objects and people it licks. 
The parents of one of the children, upon seeing him covered in mustard, express agitation towards SCP-4953 and ask it to restrain the SCP-4953 one instant. SCP-4953 apologizes to the parents, picks up the canine entity, and scouts it before exiting. Item Colorado Springs, Colorado Items ordered 10 hamburgers 3 boxes of chicken fries Summary of events a humanoid SCP-4953-1 instance missing its left leg manifests alongside SCP-4953. The SCP-4953-1 instance uses a cane composed of a plastic material to walk. SCP-4953 constructs a replacement leg using the hamburgers, shaping them into a cylinder with a joint in the center and attaches it to SCP-1453-1 using pickles as an adhesive. Using its new leg, the instance is able to walk without its cane, but appears to have difficulty balancing. The two entities have a conversation while they consume the chicken fries together. They discuss a battle, with SCP-4953 boasting about enemies it has defeated, and SCP-4953-1 signing enthusiastically. At one point, SCP-4953 stands up and acts out several sword thrusts using the cane. Location, Toronto, Canada. Items ordered. Two hamburgers, one with extra mayonnaise, one burger wrapper, one straw. Summary of events. SCP-4953 manifests with a large laceration on his left arm. Condiments such as ketchup and mayonnaise leak from the injury rather than blood. The entity staggers while it walks and appears distressed by its injury, breathing heavily and grasping at wound. The server empties an entire container of mayonnaise onto the hamburger. SCP-4953 insert one end of the straw into the mayonnaise and the other end into its arm. Note, in the location of the median cubital vein in humans, often used for IV insertion. Annies is siphoned through the straw and into the entity's arm. Sliced onions were used along with a needle to suture the injury. Lettuce from the second hamburger is applied to laceration, which appears to fuse with the entity's skin and a wrapper is used to dress the wound. SCP-4953 remains until the majority of the mayonnaise has been siphoned. It apologizes to the servers for its actions before leaving. Location, Chihuahua, Mexico. Items ordered. Three hamburgers, a large soft drink, six french fries. Summary of offense, a civilian points a knife at SCP-4953 and demands it to give him its crown. SCP-4953 opens its soft drink and throws the contents into the civilian's face. The soft drink appears to act as an irritant, causing a rash to develop and irritate his eyes. SCP-4953 then tackles him, pointing the knife from his hand as they fall to the ground. SCP-4953 keeps the civilian pinned to the ground until he yields. SCP-4953 helps the civilian stand up. It compliments his fighting spirit, but warns him that there will be no mercy should the civilian attack it again. SCP-4953 gives the civilian a french fry before motioning him to the door. Location, Ipswich, United Kingdom. Items ordered. Three large cans of french fries, two hamburgers. Summary of offense. SCP-4953 manifests riding an equine. SCP-4953-1 instance, decorated with complex patterns made of onions and tomatoes. SCP-4953 feeds the SCP-4953-1 instance the french fries, including the paper cans. SCP-4953 climbs over the counter and uses the computer to print a message on the receipt. SCP-4953 begins to construct an avian SCP-4953-1 instance using the hamburgers. The entity animates before its head has been attached and flies around the restaurant for several minutes while SCP-4953 attempts to catch it. This excites the crying entity, causing it to gather around the restaurant, knocking over tables and customers. 
SCP-4953 is eventually able to subdue both of the entities and finish constructing the avian SCP-4953-1 instance. SCP-4953 then attaches the printed message to the avian's leg and exits with it. Addendum 4953-2 Interview Log On the 22nd of December 2019, SCP-4953 manifests in the same restaurant Agent Ingram was eating at. The entity ordered 18 hamburgers and a soft drink. The following interview was conducted while SCP-4953 waited for its order. Interviewed SCP-4953 Interviewer Agent Ingram Location Burger King and Pablo, Colorado Begin Log Excuse me, can I speak with you? Oh, forgive my surprise, subject. It's not often that I'm approached by your kind. Speak as you wish. All right. Can you tell me where you came from? From the battlefield, as you might be able to tell. I apologize if my appearance offends the eye. I have been hard-pressed to find time to restore my garments. Your clothes are fine. Tell me about this battlefield. Is it possible for someone other than yourself to go there? What a strange question! Less strange, I suppose, to one unfamiliar with my realm. Tell me, does your kind understand war? Uh, yes. Then I will expect you to know what a blessing it is to be away from the fighting. Whether you could return with me, I cannot say. But I think it best you fight your own battles. I'm with... I work with a scientist... We're researching how your dimension to next two hours. I can respect the pursuit of science, but truth be told, it's not something I can explain. We're not exactly supposed to be using the restaurant. It's one of the oldest treaties to keep the war on our own front. Treaties? Are there more entities like you? Indeed, though you likely won't meet them in person. Not all are kings, mind you. My ally, Horden, prefers to fight alongside his soldiers. Not that I don't end up fighting scuffles on my own. You should have seen my duel with Jack at Reese's Edge. Bad over the ages it was. Tell me about this war. How long have you been fighting? It is a war as old as time. Just as your kind swabbles with coins and numbers. We fight by shield and blade. While I sometimes regret the bloodshed. Competition is the only way to keep righteous empires like my own on top. I'm sure you understand. I'm not sure if I understand what it is you're fighting over. The beef, my friend, the beef. Should our world be just or would just be under the domain of a Burger King? Can you elaborate? SCP-4953's ordinate number discord. I'm sorry, but this is where our conversation must end. The tyrant Arby approaches fast on this occasion, and my army needs these supplies. I bet you farewell. Hold on, who's tyrant Arby? He's coming here. SCP-4953 does not respond. It retrieves his order and demanifests. End log. Addendum 4953-3. As a result of Agent Ingram's interview, a Foundation response team was stationed near the Pablo Burger King. The following week, restaurant chain Arby's purchased a building nearby the location to open a new restaurant. Whether this is related to SCP-4953 is currently unknown.